Everybody needs a comeback with Daudi Chambade. You, you can't trend in worldly things mm. when you're a child of God. Jesus says it like, you know, <clears throat> if the world hated me, they didn't love me. Yeah. There's no way they are going to like you. The world will never like accept you that way. Right. Because the world has its own ways right. of doing stuff. And the ways of the world is pulling you down. Mm -hmm. That's what the world does, you know, because they hate what you stand for. Yeah. They hate what you believe. If you are down, the world will always see you down. Yeah. If you are poor, <coughs> the world will always see you poor. So that's why it's very, very careful to know who you listen to. So sometimes we think because we listen to a lot of people speak and stuff, no, we don't need to read the word. But the thing is no. that every time we go into the word, things are revealed. Well, and, you know? and you're buying a very big lie if you think listening to one of us preaching mm. the gospel is a substitution for the word. Yeah, and also again, not to be, uh, to worry, not, not, not to worry about being accepted yes. by the world. Because you got to understand <laughs> that it's God who sees the heart. One of, one of the most beautiful things is the journey of making a comeback. Yeah. You know, being down, trampled on, you are like a loser, but you pick on yourself and prove everybody wrong. Mm. That's a great feeling. Don't sit on your opportunity to come back. Right now, as you are listening to this, yeah. this is your opportunity to start working on the comeback you need to work on. Yeah. And put on a fight yeah. and listen to your trainer, yeah. who is the Holy Spirit. He's our convictor. He's mm. the one who convicts us of sin or wrongdoing. Mm. You know, mm. that we are covered by His grace. Yeah. and masses. Yeah. Mm. So we just have to dip ourselves in that grace and his masses every day, believing God for a change, believing God for a better step. For, I've, for, I've had people tell me, yeah. I'll come to church when I'm done drinking. <laughs> I, I like boozing yeah. and going to the bars. I'll not, come to church when I'm done. Not, not knowing that that's when you got to come. Yeah. When you are still in your mess. Yes. That's what the scripture says. I come to me, all of you are tired and heavy laden. Yeah. Jesus wants you like that. He wants to work you in your mess. Come as you Don't, are. You cannot work on yourself, then come to him. The journey of faith, the journey of making a comeback, is a journey of fight. Mm. We are fighters. That's what that's what he calls us. Mm. Hey, come on, Eva Zivwe. Good evening. It's Wednesday evening. Welcome <laughs> to come back Wednesday. Once again, I'm here with my beautiful wife, joining me again. <laughs> the last two weeks, we've been a uh, sharing about listening to your trainer's voice. Mm -hmm. uh, again, we're going to go continue that path of listening. Mm -hmm. This time we're going to be sharing about listening to your own thoughts mm -hmm. or voices because we can always talk to our own selves. So. And making sure that we're thinking the right thoughts. For sure. Yeah. And making yeah. sure that we're thinking the right thoughts. That's yeah. very important. Yeah. The thoughts we are thinking about. <clears throat> How have you been? And I hope all of you <laughs> have been okay. We hope you've been blessed with the messages we've been sharing here. You've been working on your comeback in all areas of your life. Yeah. Um, like I said, we are coming to you from the hills of Luboa yeah. <laughs> this evening. Here in Uganda, one of the most beautiful countries in the world. Amen. And as a country also, we've been working <clears throat> on our comeback in a lot of different areas. Mm. Country is growing. Yeah. People are growing. We're facing a lot of challenges, of course. But when will a challenge ever, ever stop? Right. Challenges will never stop. So that's why we keep on going. That's why we keep confessing mm -hmm. what, what God thinks about us and God's plan right. towards our life on, on making <clears throat> In fact, that's an, that's an important thing mm -hmm. that we as believers remember is that challenges will come. Mm -hmm. You know, sometimes when we first get born again, people make promises to us like our troubles will end, mm -hmm. our suffering will end. In fact, I've even heard preachers preach like, oh, your suffering is over. You'll never suffer again. And sometimes I want to stand up and shout, mm -hmm. you're lying. <laughs> mm -hmm. I know they're trying to encourage. They're trying to uplift people who are hurting. 
and and you know help people to see the, like receive hope mm. but then sometimes we take that so literally that we think there will never be these ups and downs that just come with living in a in a sinful world living in a in a world that's been tainted by sin you yes know? there's going to be ups and downs there's going to be challenges there's going to be times we feel weak there's going to be times we feel strong like, there's going to be times that we succeed and times we fail like the scripture says that like <clears throat> the weak say i'm strong, strong. Let the poor say, I'm rich. I'm rich. That's why we confess. Yeah. yeah. And that's why we believe God for. Yeah. So that's how we stay encouraged. Yeah. Even yeah. Paul said that he even rejoiced in his weaknesses because in in his weaknesses, God's strength would be revealed, mm -hmm. you know. And and some of us, we run away from our weaknesses mm -hmm. and, and try to hide from our weaknesses mm -hmm. or pretend they're not there or or lie to ourselves mm -hmm. that they're not there. And the thing I find so funny about that, like you and I were married, right? Mm -hmm. I have weaknesses. I do have my own weaknesses. Oh, good. I didn't have to say it. Mm -hmm. A lot of them. <laughs> you know, in Uganda, I'm not supposed to tell him he has any weaknesses, nor am I supposed to tell anybody else. Yeah. <laughs> so it's good he said it himself. Yeah. <laughs> but I also have my weaknesses. But we can be <clears throat> like afraid to to even let somebody else recognize or acknowledge that they're there let alone our own self mm. yet people can see them mm. especially the people we live around or we spend a lot of time mm. with they see where we're weak mm. so we live in this illusion sometimes mm. that you know i don't have this issue i don't have this problem and and and, and our weaknesses speak <clears throat> to yeah. our thoughts yeah you know what you're not good in those areas right maybe you never amount to 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 something which right. can be just fine that you know Right. Who are improving or like if this person knows this thing about me they won't love me mm -hmm. if this person sees this thing mm -hmm. in me or if i acknowledge this thing is there i won't be accepted mm. i won't be wanted mm. i won't be respected mm. even in home like as as my husband if i see a weakness in you you can be not not you in, in yourself but like any man could feel like oh my wife doesn't respect me or mm. won't respect me if she knows i have this fault or this mm. flaw or this weakness mm. right and then i as a wife or, or other women with their spouses they can also get that feeling like well if he knows this thing about me he won't love me mm. you know he, he mm. won't he won't accept me in this broken condition that i'm in mm. you know? yet those are the very things that if we allow mm. christ to do his work in us mm. Those are the things that actually reveal God's glory mm. and, and are able to be turned to our good. And those are often the things that actually make us a really good team. Yep. Like if you recognize where I'm strong and I recognize where you're strong, you recognize where you're weak and I recognize where I'm weak, and we let each other's strengths and weaknesses mm -hmm. play the right roles, mm -hmm. you know, then we can be a strong team. Yeah, so that's, that's the coverage we get by standing right. with each other and supporting right. each other. And stuff. So, like, 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 like I was saying, as <laughs> as as a fighter, mm. you have to, or as a believer, you have to identify what's standing, um, uh, uh, towards your destiny. Like, right. what's what's standing what, in your way. Yeah, what's standing in your way. So you have to identify whatever is standing in your way to your right. destiny. Right. That's that's what a fighter does. You got to right. identify your fighter's weaknesses. And strength. Right. So, because like when every time you are going to into a fight, as a fighter, you, know, you can have a trainer, like we've been talking about the trainer, listening to your trainer's voice. Right. Because as you are fighting, there will be a lot of voices around yeah. in the arena. Let's say it, you're in the shouting. ring, everybody is shouting. It's so, noisy. In yeah, those it's rings. noisy. Everybody is shouting instructions yeah. to you. Get away. Yeah. Oh, hey, and you got to know your trainer so you well, you can hear them out of everyone. Identify. Yeah your trainer's voice yeah. but also for you yourself there's voices which talk to you right. about 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 your own fighter, thinking your yeah. own thinking yeah. you know about the, the, the person you're gonna be facing right. you know or the challenges you're gonna be facing towards your making a uh, comeback and one of those things is fear yes you know we look at the opponent mm -hmm. the way they are built <laughs> you know the, the <laughs> thing the thing about fighting you can see a guy <laughs> Who is really in a good <coughs> shape? He looks like oh, he's all cut, chiseled, mm. and you think you know what? I have no chance. Right. And you get in the ring. He has no style. He's stiff. Mm -hmm. You know. 
So, you know, like <laughs> before you face mm. your opponent, you got to tell yourself I'm better than them. Right. You know? And and that's one of the reasons that fighters come out with like that music when yeah. they're trying to act so powerful, you got to hype and looking so up. Tough, tough, you know. And you got to yeah. come out like, you know, you know, I'm going to yeah. knock you out, yeah. you know. <laughs> you know, that's all. That's all the hype. Yeah. That's yeah. why sometimes we get up in the morning. We know we are facing a lot of challenges, yeah. but we get up on on praise music, praise yeah. and worship yeah. music. You got to hype up yourself. Yeah. You got to speak to whatever is standing between yeah. you and your destiny. Yeah. You know. That's like, like like we say. I was um, uh, speaking on Sunday. I think it was last Sunday, and we talked about like carrying your own uh, uh, cross. Yeah. You know, you got you. You know, you can you can be preached to. Trainers can say all they say and stuff, mm -hmm. but you got to step up on the plate yourself. Right. At, at, at a certain time yeah. in life. I call it owning it. You got to own it. You got to own it. Yeah. <laughs> you got to own it yourself. And yeah. as you own it, yeah. things are going to be speaking yeah. to your thoughts. Yeah. So it's very important to identify what is speaking to your thoughts. Right. Yourself. To recognize like uh -huh. the, those foundational beliefs. Like you mentioned fear. Mm. So if, if I'm bound by fear... And I see whatever this thing that I'm facing, maybe mm -hmm. it's shame, maybe it's, you know, I've lost hope because I've tried so hard to succeed and I keep failing mm -hmm. or someone keeps telling me I can't do it. I'm just a failure, mm -hmm. whatever it is. I, I, you know, there can be so many things that can intimidate us or scare us, mm -hmm. our, our own weaknesses, other people's voices, mm -hmm. mistakes, whatever. Um, <clears throat> but now you see this 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 fear ends up becoming so huge like you said that opponent it it looks chiseled it looks tough it looks um you know fierce right and i'm and i'm coming maybe i'm like this tiny little opponent mm. and i feel very inadequate and ill equipped to face whoever this big giant mm. is like in uh, numbers 13 and 14 is the story of uh, the Israelites, when they were going in to take in the promised land mm. and the the 12 spies were sent out and they came back and 10 of them were like, no, we can't do it. Two of them were like, yes, we can. <laughs> God told us this is ours. We can do it. But the 10 said we were like grasshoppers in our own eyes. Own they didn't, eyes. Yeah. They, against the giants. Yeah. They didn't say we were like grasshoppers in their eyes. They said we were grasshoppers in our own eyes. eyes. And so if you're facing that, that opponent, whatever it is, fear, like yeah. you mentioned, shame, guilt, um, you know, uh, maybe even just getting out of poverty. If I'm facing like wanting to just succeed at yeah. something um, or accomplish some goals and I keep failing, whatever, as I'm looking at it, if I'm like, I'm like a grasshopper in the eyes of whatever that thing is, mm. then I won't be able to do it. Mm. And then in the Israelites case, they all cried all night long. Mm. And then they even started searching for someone to take them back mm. to slavery, mm. you know? Mm. <laughs> and that's what we often do. We get discouraged. Yeah. And maybe I'm overcoming an addiction, mm. something, you know, I hit a wall, I hit an obstacle. I face a giant that I think is so much bigger than mm -hmm. me. And I start getting tempted to go back to that addiction and what do addicts often do? They go search out someone else who's also addicted mm -hmm. and they go sit around and drink their sorrows away mm -hmm. or smoke their sorrows away or eat their sorrows away, sleep mm -hmm. them away, whatever, mm -hmm. shop, <laughs> mm -hmm. you know, because they're, they're, um, they're letting that giant convince them, which actually isn't a giant. That's yeah. the funny thing. You know, like the Israelites, they already had the land. God promised it to them. Mm. All they had to do was be willing to face the giant. Mm. That's it. Mm. And then God was ready to give them the victory. Mm. So sometimes it's just I have to be willing to face whatever that thing is mm. and let God do his work. Mm. And, and and also another thing I wanted to say, uh, to hard on about that, which mm. is very, very important, the thing you said about like, they saw themselves yeah. as grasshoppers right. in the face of those people. It wasn't the other group which saw them as grasshoppers, but they saw themselves as grasshoppers. Right. So that's what we do uh, mm -hmm. in Uganda, but it's a queen of fear. <clears throat> fear. You belittle yourself, right. you know, not, not your opponent, but you belittle yourself inside. But you know what? I'm not even worth to stand up right. for my own self. Right. That's why a lot of times we fail to reconcile within ourselves. Right. Sometimes we think, you know what, maybe um, 
I can reconcile with other people, mm -hmm. and yet we have failed to reconcile with our own right. selves right. sometimes, which is uh, some work we have to do. Right. Uh, like when we talk about making a comeback, identifying, you got to design a plan <laughs> for your comeback. Yeah. There have to be a plan, yeah. you know, and that plan, like we say, can be challenged, but as long as you keep the focus on that right. plan, um, that what works out for all of us. Because yeah. even, even when you're fighting, that's what your trainer does with you. Mm -hmm. You you create a plan. This is your opponent. Mm -hmm. This is you. These are your strengths. These are their strengths, your weaknesses, their weaknesses. And you create a plan yeah. together. This is how you're going to go in. This is how you're going to attack this. this. If you get in this situation, this is what you're going to do. And that's what you spend time training. That's, is, why, is that's, why, they the say, that's why they say uh, styles make <clears throat> fights. Yeah, It's the style which makes fights. Yeah. So... That's why you got to identify your own style, your how you're style. going to fight. Yeah. Do I need to still be hanging with this group as I'm working on myself? Right. But according to the style <laughs> I have to use in this fight of my own right. fight towards my destiny, I have to let go of this group. Right. Because with this group, the style I will be using won't be helping me. Right. Because I take a step ahead. Then they pull me five steps back. Right. You know, lose time all right. the time. You step ahead three steps, seven steps back. Right. Because you have not identified who, are, who has to move ahead with you. Because right. we got to understand that, you know, it's about the priorities. Right. Priorities you, you focus on mm. for your own self and right. building yourself. Right. Mm. And, and where you let your mind go, the mindset mm. you have, the beliefs that you have. And, and that belief system that you have or the, the thoughts that you think tell a lot about what you truly believe, mm. too. And I think it's important, too, that we're not afraid of acknowledging that. Mm. Like, I remember one time um, I went to uh, an appointment with a, a, it was a medical appointment, but this lady did a particular type of a, a treatment, and I was asking her how it worked. And as we got to talking about different things, she was asking me a few questions, and I just had a personal revelation that I realized uh, as much, um, uh, like, the kind of ministry that we do, you know, people will often give to us, and then we pour out to other mm. people. So I realized that I had no problem at all receiving wealth to pour out to other people, mm. but I struggled to believe I was worthy to receive wealth myself. Mm. You know, mm. which is a it's that that goes to a foundational belief of like, mm. why wouldn't I believe that God would want to or could or would bless me personally? Mm. I had no problem at all believing God would bless me for the sake of blessing other people. Mm. That That's easy for me to believe. Like mm. he could pour millions of dollars through me and I could pour millions of dollars out to other people mm. and feel good about it, positive and happy. But to say, oh, he could give me like a significant income or he could he could provide me with mm. this or I have a, a, a bright mind, mm. you know, where I'm capable of earning this level of an income or something. Mm. I realized I, I didn't have that belief about myself. I didn't feel like I was worthy of that. Mm. And it wasn't until I realized that and accepted it that this was a, a wrong thinking I had mm. that then all of a sudden, income-wise, things started shifting for me, mm. you know? Uh, the way that God provided for me, the way that I received, um, uh, like, financial blessings or whatever mm. changed, mm. you know? Because I, I accepted, I had this wrong belief, wrong mindset, and this is how I need to change it. Like mm. you said, come up with a plan, mm. you know, where where you can defeat whatever that mm. that wrong thought is, mm. you know? And that was a that was a huge turning point for me in just mm. uh, being more free financially, mm. you know. And I'm still working on it, but <laughs> praise God, God is good. 